The next category are the woodlands and shrublands. Um, they are often called the Mediterranean woodlands and shrublands uh, because it's found within the Mediterranean, but these are also found in different regions and they're called different things in different places. Uh, we will often refer to it as the chaparral. We have it growing down in um, California, uh, in Southern California. Um, and uh, these are places with uh, oh, lovely weather where people like to live, like around the Mediterranean and Southern California. It's a woodland or a scrubland, which means it's not a thick, dense forest, it tends to have sparse trees. Mediterranean woodland and, and shrubland is found in all continents except for Antarctica. The climate is cool and moist in the fall, winter and spring and hot and dry in the summer. The soils tend to be fragile, which means um, that they, they are very erodible. So if you get a heavy rain, you're going to have landslides. And you find that in California. You hear about that when they have storms, they'll have landslides as well. But it has moderate fertility. You can grow things. This is where we put our vineyards. The trees and shrubs keep their leaves all year round. It's never so cold as to uh, require them to drop their leaves. Uh, it is a fire prone biome, which means that uh, you can count on fires coming through every uh, 20 years or so in, in an area. And so you always hear about fires in Southern California as well. Long history of people having lived here. We kind of love living in this particular uh, habitat. The um, open oak woodlands of southern Spain and Portugal have been uh, lived in for thousands of years uh, where they have um, grasses and, and, and the cattle will eat the grass. And then they have the oak trees and pigs will eat the acorns and then they harvest the oaks and the cork off of the oak trees. And then they can uh, plant wheat every now and again. And this system has allowed them to have sustainable agriculture for thousands of years within this uh, particular biome. Unfortunately, uh, in some places we clear the forests and uh, the soils, as I say, are erode away. This is a beautiful picture of some of the, the woodlands um, and shrublands. And uh, you can see how that the, the uh, fires will not become these big catastrophic fires in the crowns of the trees. A lot of the fires are just clearing the brush off of the ground and the litter off the ground. And, uh, and the trees have thick bark in order to prevent them from uh, burning up so they protect themselves with this thick bark. So this is uh, looking at the bark of the uh, oak trees and uh, some of this bark is so thick that's where we get the cork from, the cork oak, uh, which uh, you use for the corks for your wine bottles. So when we look at where we find this particular biome then we can find some, uh, the biggest um, amount of it is going to be around the Mediterranean area, but we've got some down here uh, in the uh, in in Australia. We've got some in North America, which is uh, from California and down into northern Mexico. There's found in uh, Chile, and there's a uh, little bit uh, found in New Zealand as well. And depending on where you live, it's going to be called different things. So in Western North America, it's called the Chaparral. Um, it's uh, called the Matarral in Spain. Uh, it's, it's called the Finbos in South Africa. So I think the Australians call it the Mali. Uh, so it just depends on where you live as to what you're referring to it. When we look at the climate diagrams, then we can see in each one of them, we have the dry summer. So we've got the, the lack of rainfall in San Diego in the summertime, the lack of rainfall in Italy, uh, 
and then we've got the same thing in Adelaide, Australia. Remember, in Australia, their summers are in December, January, February, so the, the months are adjusted. And then uh, we, we uh, total rainfall is uh, definitely higher than we found the total rainfalls in the deserts, but nothing even close to what we found in, in the, the tropics. And we are beyond the, the, the uh, limit of the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. So the Tropic of Cancer, um, the, the biome is, is north of that. And in the Southern Hemisphere, it's south of the Tropic of Capricorn.